Glenn Merkitt is an Australian architect that has become highly influential on Australian architecture and increasingly acknowledged around the world. He was born in 1936 in London while his parents were on a stopover to Germany. They then travelled around America with him before returning to Australia when he was one year old. His family then moved to Papua New Guinea where he first encountered and learnt about simple vernacular architecture. They then moved back to Australia at the beginning of World War II where he went through his schooling and architecture studies. While he was growing up, his father introduced him to Miles Vandero and his skin and bones architectural style and the idea of the disillusion between interior and exterior. He also introduced him to the writing of Henry David Thoreau and his ideas of simple living in the natural surroundings. This sparked Merkitt's initial interest in buildings that are responsive to the environment. This was enhanced while he studied architecture at university and he learned of modernists such as Richard Natura and his, sens his idea of the sensitive unity of architecture in place. He also learned of Neville Guzman's theory that architecture should have a communication with the environment. Merkitt's underlining theory is to marry architecture is to marry modern architecture to place, territory, and landscape, and to touch the ground lightly. This is one of the freedoms that modernism brings, that a house can be integrated completely into the site contours and retain its natural vegetation. While modernism was coming into the Australian architectural scene when Glenn Merkitt started studying, he took these elements and carried them further, creating a strong relationship to land and integrating the use of vernacular architecture. He blends a modern typology of architecture with traditional Australian models, resulting in ecological functionalism. One example, one example of this in his work is the Donaldson House in New South Wales, which is nestled into the base of a sandstone outcrop. This two-storey house is, has the same stature as the sandstone outcrop and it is near impossible to be seen from the street. The building has been angled and designed to preserve as many trees on the site as possible. The roof has even been designed to contour around the tree's growth. The views have been fra uh, framed by the windows and the materials have been manipulated to protect the house from bushfires using things such as fireproof zinc panels and mesh within windows. Another example is the Marika Anderson house in the hot Northern Territory, which has large overhanging eaves to protect it from the sun and plywood slatted timber screens that slide or pivot, allowing prevailing breezes to naturally cool the house. This house can also be completely dismantled, showing Merkitt's belief to touch the ground lightly. Merkitt's architecture takes modernism and morphs it into a vernacular Australian form which connects the landscape, marrying architecture to the place.